So today, we are going to go over a game of Zombie Go. Why? Because it is October, and therefore we do such things in the month of October. Zombie Go, if you are unfamiliar with what it is, for one, congratulations to the stream or my channel, glad you're able to find us. But if you do not know what Zombie Go is, it is quite simple. It is a game in which a stone or a group that has been killed off Something that ought to be dead does not stay dead. It actually comes back to life and, let's say, makes a little bit of an annoyance of itself. And the game begins thus. All right. So we've got black opening up with a 3-4 point. White taking a 4-4. Four, four. Interesting corner to take it up to. He's not taking it in, let's say, this one. He is offering the diagonal to his opponent. It's like, if you wish to get all fighty and territorial, that is fine with me. Not surprising from the strongest player in the world. Black says, nope, I'm just going to take my 3-4 points like so. This is an interesting point as well. The 3-4 stone is facing white. Which means, if he had his little heart set on, let's say, a Chinese, mini Chinese, or a micro Chinese variation that has gone out the window because we can't really approach from this side and like back off that far, just doesn't really work out quite so well with when we're facing an enclosure here. Black encloses instead, Constellation Prize. Approaching, of course. We are not going to play this way because that gives an enclosure to our opponent and Sente to grab an extension. Uh, if, you, if Twitch is stuttering, I do apologize. It's either your connection to the server I am streaming to or the bitrate at which I am streaming at. It's one or the other. Or it's your own connection. Could be someone using up your bandwidth. All right, so White approaches because he doesn't want that to happen to him. Very standard take territory here, because we can say that, yeah, we took an, we took an enclosure in the upper right-hand corner. We're going to take an enclosure over here as well, and it's all good. You could get fighty here, of course. It's completely up to you. This is not a wrong move. Usually we see things such as uh, the O17 in response to white, or response for white, to break up the top. But in this game, yes. Q16. In this, we are actually seeing uh, white go for the influence instead. Black tries not for a peaceful variation where, let's say, we play something like this, for example, and then probably get split. He's going for the small avalanche. Drops down, extends. Now, I'm not sure who first coined the term avalanche to this Jaseki. Uh, this is the small avalanche, the large one, in case you're curious, would be this one. Same kind of shape, only much different variations involved. There are a few nice and easy ways to handle this. The idea here, white extends because he's poking at the O17 and the S17 stones. Black does not want the S17 stones to die, so he says, I'm going to turn. White threatens to enclose and thus kill them off. Black says, you can't do that. I'm going to kill off your two stones first. So white gets the cut in. And this is a fairly straightforward way of actually playing the avalanche. This is, I think, one of the least uh, 
complicated variations because we're kind of making a complete straight up trade. We're trading the corner for outside influence. You really can't get much more basic than that. Black resists and tries to get more for himself before finally going back and killing these stones off because keep in mind, not quite dead yet, we could play away. But all of this might suddenly wind up becoming Sente, in which case, can we still call, kill off the corner? Um, probably not so much. We're kind of on its way to being dead. Sad face. So let me go back to kill off that. White says I'm going to go and play here. This would be Gote, so we would not play here. Otherwise, black just comes on out, or goes here probably now that I think about it. And then, bad news bears. In fact, if we want to actually compound this mistake, we could actually play here first, and then play here. Because later on, we might even be able to get to play here, and something like this, and then we've got no shape. We're just like one big blob. So white says, I don't want to be a blob. I'm going to go after these two stones. Black says, I like my two stones. Now we have a trade-off. Has to take. And then white comes out. He's getting stronger on top and lived on the right-hand side. And so far, I should point out, the dude, the, we have two dead stones already on the field at R18. Now in the month of zombie go, we must always pay attention to the dead stones to see which dead stones I'll be coming back to life. Could it possibly be the two stones that only have two liberties? We'll have to wait and see. Threatens to surround. Does not push from behind. He's not gonna be like, okay, I guess you just get to do that. Cause sooner or later he's gonna have to make the jump anyway, right? Only now he's made black stronger. And at that point, did we really get anything from this? I mean, this is still open, keep in mind, so not not the greatest. So it goes ahead and jumps. No pushings from behind today. Making the shapes, because again, if we play elsewhere, our opponent might try to control us. Because we don't have a single eye yet, do we? Like, that's not an eye yet because of that, and that's not an eye yet because of that. I vote that R18 isn't going to be the zombie that we're looking for. It'd be kind of weird if it comes back to life, huh? So we extend, and extend, and throw in because we can do such things. Our opponent has to respond, and now we've got like an inside move. Like so. Might even be able to push and cut through that now, it's kind of nice. Not falling for it. Again, yeah, last the first game you guys did fall for it. That was kind of interesting. I know Uru did. Uru really thought when I pointed out those dead stones that they were coming back to life. And that was kind of funny. That was fun tricking him. So we got an eye ish. And we're not surrounded anymore. So Black says, I'm going to keep poking at you because you are unsettled, good sir. Get some shells from shape. And then Black's trying to be nice and solid. Look at the solid play. He's like, I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna try and do anything weird. I'm not gonna attach to you. Um, not gonna leave my group below. And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna strengthen myself because you, sir, are a good fighter, and I'm going to not take chances. Does it mean that White gets to have fourth line influence or fourth line territory for himself? A little bit. But a little bit of territory in exchange for more solid play is always a good thing. We like solid play. Don't need to respond here again. So, goes in the open corner. And we know he's taking the open corner because it is the only 3-4 uh, corner available to him. He could approach here, but the 4-4 is usually less... Uh, is oh, the 4 4 is harder to secure territory with than the 3 4. So we usually prioritize that. And once again, no tricky Jiseki. Well, okay, the upper right one was actually a tricky Jiseki. I mean, initially we attach, we don't get into weird pincers. 
just taking some territory for himself. Right? Kind of nice. Now, I admit, when I first played here, or not played here, um, when I first saw this, when I was playing through the game, I was idly wondering if Black would try to, like, make some kind of influence here to go with the influence he was going in the middle, and then I realized that's probably a bad idea. Instead, he's probably going to try to go for this, because this is an area that he can build. So when we're thinking about which direction that we actually want to pick, we can kind of see this as to which direction we're going to choose. Like, we could try to make a wall here, similar to what we saw on the right-hand side of the board, but, like, where's... Where's where's the profit? Where's the profit? Do we have like anything over here that we can really develop right now? Not not so much, right? So that would be the mistake. This would be the mistaken direction. So we play here. And then play there. In order to try to build up the area in that bottom to middle where we actually have profit potential, rather. K4. No, he does not play K4, actually. That's not what he does. He actually cut, which I was surprised at. I thought maybe he would do something, but there's no real reason. If he wants to, if Black wants to jump into a three space, that's kind of okay. The F4 tends to be slow, that is correct. But bl white, sorry, not black. I've all said that twice now. But black, or, I said it again! But white, 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 white. White already has this uh, aiding stone here at Q8. At, uh, Q8. Hey, Jimmy Ray. Plus no avalanche, it hurts my Q brain. That is also true. So he cuts. Black's only too happy to get what he appears to be wanting. Tries to do a double approach on it anyway. Very aggressive play here. Very aggressive play here. Now, someone, I'm not going to say which of my students did this, because one of them might be watching. But one of my students may have played this move last time they were in a similar position. So I am curious to you Q players, why do we not play the attachment here? Why do we not play the attachment here? Weak stone, there's more to it than that. What can we imagine is going to happen after we play the attachment? I mean, we can connect, right? We can connect right under. We can be like, ha ha ha! Look at that! Look at that territory! Faya sums it up very, very nicely. Yes, those center captures aren't good. You don't want to give these things to your opponent. Typically speaking. If it was an absolute emergency to connect, we could go, maybe go under, maybe, maybe, if we really, really had to try something like that. But you don't really want them into, your, into the middle. So instead, we're going to attach to this stone, because we can picture a follow-up. Bam! Threatening to kill it off immediate. Right? So we're leaning on the stone trying to convince our opponent like oh man o3 is so cool i want to attack it i really want to attack it but this one's actually the one being attacked got a response who 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 almost got almost got surrounded black try to sacrifice it he's trying his own play he wants white to play something like uh, p6 so you can extend up, connect the bottom to the top. Goes after all of the shape points as hard as he can. 
Black is trying to drop the hammer on the strongest player in the world right now. It's like, what do you got for me? I'm gonna connect. I've got like Mii now, right? Under or over the uh, key six stone. Choose is over. We're going over for black. And look how great this is. Wow. He got it. This was cool. That advice comes up in every game, yeah. That is the application of that. Killing is like dating. So yeah, huge wall, huge wall. Black wins this game, right? I mean, look at what he's doing. Uh, Takuja. I mean, he's got... He's like got him right where he wants him. He's got the corner. He's getting a huge wall. And he's got... He's got so many dead stones, right? I mean... Dead stones are just everywhere. M12 is dead. M12 is also dead-ish. So black... Black must win this game. Keeping it low. Not gonna get greedy and be like, I got me a large point now. Because you're inviting your opponent to do really terrible things to you. Like, uh, I'm just gonna grow this straight up into the middle if that's fine. And you might be like, that's fine. I'm gonna grow me a large area now. But the thing is, this area is like not at all sealed off, right? This can be reduced still, so you gotta, you gotta, you gotta chill that. You gave a lot of points to your opponent away in exchange for nothing solid just yet. So, maybe not a good idea. So it's keeping them low. It's like, no growth, ever. Not happening. Can't possibly happen. And Black is not gonna push from behind. He's not gonna be like, okay, I connect. It's like, do it again. Okay, I connect. <laughs> do it again. Okay, I connect. Because that gives a lot of strength to your opponent. That's like, that's so bad. That would be terrible. Giving like a huge wall like this to your opponent. Because we don't want it. We don't want to see this. We don't want to see that ever. So it's like, all right, I'm I'm connected. Go away. It's like I'm gonna surround you. It's like okay, fine. I'm connected now. But he's not... He, the wall isn't as solid now, which is a huge difference here. There's, like, small knights, there's cut points. So, a little bit of a difference, but a big one, which we will see later. But Captain Greedy Pants is like, uh, can I, can I get you to do that again? That'd be great. It's like, no. Dead. Can we officially call this the Q voice? <laughs> Uh, no comment about that. I love my Q players. I would never insult them by saying that's the Q voice. Um, whose turn is it? White's. Walt doesn't look so useful now. I know! That forcey move right there is cool. That is always the danger of when you make the walls to nowhere. Who I think someone said it. I think someone said it. Who said it? Uh... Michael Scar said wall facing what question mark? That was good. Uh, yes, Horluck? Oh, maybe I did? I don't know. Twitch chat said it. Twitch chat said it. Ah. Uh. Alright, so we got this in. He's starting to break through. Black's trying to get something to work. White doesn't even fight! My lovely fighter is like, okay, I'm not gonna try to fight this. I ain't gonna fight it, because I don't want to die. And that would be some serious, serious death. And that would not even be a zombie game. I wouldn't even count that as a zombie game. I mean, that that's just, that's just a mistake. So no, not doing anything like that. We're just... We're just here chilling. 
Don't have much in the way of territory, though. Oh, so painful. And there's still that, that enclosure in the upper left. There's that stuff in the upper right. And, like, white is so low. How is white ever going to win this game? Tell, tell it before I say it again, man. Black is going to win this. Especially since he's going on the aggressive. He's like, look at this. He's like, you know what you're going to do? You're going to kill that stone and you're going to like it. And I'm going to back off. I'm going to take myself more territory. And you can do nothing about it. That's what's going to happen here. And white says, no, I'm going to attack you. That's not what's happening here. We're going to fight. Black plays nice and strong. He's not leaving Aji behind. He's like, I'm not going to do anything weird here and be like, ha, 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 that doesn't work. Oh, right. Okay, never mind. And he's not going to be like, just jumping out and letting his opponent come up and meet later on. This is a zombie game. Yes, Veo. But we haven't identified where the zombies are just yet. We have not identified where the zombies. What is Zombie Go? Uh, zombie Go is where a dead stone or a dead group is going to come back to life to haunt their victims. And I can already tell you. The zombie is already in the game. I'm not saying it's alive or dead yet, but I will say the zombie is already in the game. It is lurking somewhere. MTEL would be impressive. That would be pretty impressive. I think R18 would be impressive too. So here we are. We're trying to grow. And if he gets that connection, if he could find some way to save E4, oh my god, that'd be great for black. Push not. Look at him trying to build that middle. He's like trying to get some shape. He's trying to find ways into this to like completely take that center for him. So good, so good. White keeps pushing in. Black doesn't even uh, doesn't uh, back away. He's like, that's a cut point. That cut point means you've got one, two. Okay, that's not two. There we go, two. And we can envision a way that he's going to actually do it too. I mean, he can he can come over here, go right over here. Kills two, while one's trying to live. So it looks like this is a pretty good direction game, if nothing else. Like you can see Black being really loyal to that influence and kind of threatening to rebuild it every once in a while with the, with like these little shape moves. It seems slow. It's like, yeah, I'm kind of getting closer to making that thing uh, that, that thing, aren't I? And then White has to keep developing with. And while White's doing this, he's not really making much in the way of territory, is he? I mean, he made the right-hand side. But while he made the right-hand side, I mean, did, did this give him any points? Mm, not yet. Is 2 giving him any points? Mm, not yet. Where, where, are the, where are them points coming from? Forcing moves to make ourselves as steer wrong as possible. It's L10 hitting move go. Interesting. So the question would become how on earth do we possibly do something here? How do we do something here? How do we do something here? H6. It's a bit cooler than that there, Jimmy, right? Because he's trying to fix himself in Sente. So when we try to fix ourselves in Sente, we try to lean on things. We look for attachments and shoulder hits. So White says, I'm trying to fix myself in the middle. So with this move, he's suddenly threatening this area. Threatening a connection, threatening a kill, threatening an expansion. Black's got to be careful. And Black says, you know what? You can't fool me. I've seen your kind before. 
You're trying to make me convinced that, oh, you're so in love with C14, but I, you're going to backstab me. You're really trying to go out with C9, and no. You don't care about the corner. So he's fixing his cutting point. But you're not distracting me. So we Hane. And save. And while White is now probably changing his mind, I mean, to be fair, E9 was pretty cute. But the corner... That corner is... That corner is the corner. So he's trying to keep that dead. But the corner... The corner is real. Sacrifice off the stones that are dead. Or are they? Not really sure what's happening there just yet. E10 came back to life. E10 was never dead just yet. E10 was never dead. We can't say at this moment that E10 is dead, because there's a lot of room there. Still not dead, still not dead. Threatening to link up, nope, not dead yet. And mm, not yet. If, it, if, if C8 is there, then maybe, maybe. Starting to believe it's just a trick and there are no zombies after all. That's exactly what zombies want you to believe there, Turbo. There's no zombies here. No, not at all. Zombies are always make you think they don't exist. Gotta be careful. Living up in the middle of the corner. Pokey pokey poke. Uh, threatens to kill off. Comes on in. I lied! Oh, we were surrounding you all along. Fighting through the small night. Trying to go after that middle again. Still loyal to his one true love, the middle of the board. This is this is a tale of romance, is what this is. Black loves the center. Niraji. Niraji. Need to not die in the corner. Not dying in the corner, very difficult. Get rid of Aji. How about now? Oh, now seems we're okay. Uh oh. So they're all b dancing back and forth, making sure that they're not a lot that that they're uh, profiting. So now the question is, actually, let's, let's go back over that real quick. That was kind of complicated. So he threw in to kill, threatened to cut through, said no to the cut through. Well, no to the cut through because we get this in. I did the other way around. Oh my god, that kills. There we go, because we could get this in otherwise. So that doesn't work, so we have to connect here. So now we're trying to get forcing moves in, because if we can get these moves in, that's pretty big. We can like force, like, I don't know, this kind of thing. Or this kind of thing. And now we're, we're clearly alive up there. We're clearly alive up there. So black, so white's like, I need something too. So I'm like, gonna go down here. Black enlarges. Time to rescue some stones. Gotta be careful, there's still uh, some Aji up there. So he defends, because the Aji was over here. With the throw in. Right? Gotta be careful. That's not, uh, not completely healthy just yet. So the question is, now what do we do? <sighs> now what do we do is white. Now what do we do is white. Well, what's the score say? 
That's rules. Okay, Guestimator, are you any useful? Oh my god, the Guestimator just killed off all of Whitestones. Never mind, Guestimator, I'm sorry. I don't know why I even try to consult you. You are just useless. Let's see, if we were to help Guestimator along. If we were to help Guestimator along. With a solid connection. Oh my god. With a solid connection, then it would say that black is actually ahead right now by a little bit, especially because of the right-hand side, the B16, that connection that's Gotei to defend against. Black's kind of in a really good spot right now. Black's in a really good spot right now. So white needs help. White needs help from things that are already dead. Oh, the left, that's true. That left is there as well. I have to be careful of the left, because you can still wind up losing some stones over there. But Black says he needs he needs help on a big scale. Large scale. Grand scale. Black says that you know what? I know what I can get help with. Or oh, sorry, white does, my bad. It's white's turn. No, it is Black's turn. You confuse me. Oh my god. Yeah, so Black plays here. No, he doesn't. I am totally confused. Whose move is it? What happened? Oh, right. I went too far. There, there. Now. Alright. And then Black killed that. Sweet. Now we're all caught up. So, yeah. White says it's time to bring things back to life. And he decides to try to bring back to life M12. Because why not? Now, how is this thing possibly going to live, you might wonder. How is this possibly going to live? Well, the only way this stone can live is if it connects here, connects here, or connects here. That's not going to work. Those stones are dead. So he says, nope, I'm not falling for this garbage. You get out of here. Takes. Okay. We're making an exchange. He gets to take three stones, but the middle stones stay dead, right? 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 So he tries to run over here. But still, there's no room at the inn. So now we've got to go all the way to the bottom of the board? What? No. There's no way that those stones that are completely surrounded and should be dead can make it to the bottom of the board and connect up through a small night. There's no way. They're dead. Making use of the Aji. Still dead. White says, can I profit from this? Black says, yeah, because I want your stones to remain dead. All right, we profited off of this. There you go. That's what it was all for, right? It was all for bringing these stones back to life. Surely these stones are going to stay nice and dead. These stones are surrounded. They can't go anywhere. These stones are dead. It's only those little guys that came back to life. Okay. Okay. So we push through. Tries to go to Ko, but we're not falling for that. Mm -mm. Not doing it. Cutting through, taking his profit, because he's threatening E5 now, pretty big, pretty big. But those stupid stones are moving again. Those stupid stones are moving again. So cut those stones off, 
They need to stop moving. They're dead. They're dead. Those stones are dead. Stop moving. See? Can't go anywhere. Now he's about to kill himself off over there. Silly white. And now these stones are coming in? But those stones are cut off too. I don't know what's going on here, man. This is getting weird. Seems it's all gonna die now. Plays the Hane, but it's too late. There's just nowhere to go. Got to Atari that stone. Now we're sacrificing so much in the middle for all of these dead things. Connects, make sure that we're not gonna, you know, get killed there. That that dead thing is looking like it's got shape to it. So we need we need to uh, we need to make sure that our stones aren't gonna suddenly get cut off and killed. But but white didn't get that memo. He's still struggling. Now we're in some trouble. Because these... It only has two liberties, but it's okay. Because we can play... It's okay. It's okay. We can play... We can play F12. He can never play H11. at self Atari. So we're, we're fine. We're fine. Atari here. Uh-oh. Let's get another liberty. Well, Atari, it's fine. Uh-oh. Just get another liberty. It's fine, but it's not fine. It's nowhere near fine. It's nowhere approaching close to fine. Cause what happens if we take that stone right now? Then we're gonna get cut off, and those stones are gonna kill these stones. So there's there's nothing we can do. Not only are we are we dead, but they've taken things with them. Which is why at this point, after the Atari, Black resigns. He can't do anything about it. He has to worry about he has to worry about the poke over here. Cuz like right now it doesn't work. But whoops. But, come on. But now it would. Now it would absolutely work. And if you played here, then that's Sente? So you get to save those stones too? And go back and kill? That's... That's, that's not good. So, it appears that our lovely M12 stone kind of came back to life resurrected other dead things on the board and then ate black's face so that's pretty that's that's not a nice zombie that is that's not a nice zombie at all those zombies kind of got out of control when did he start reading that out i have no idea i have not the slightest and that is why Aji is amazing. And if you can play an influential game, or a territorial game, and you have a good grasp of Aji, you can do things on the board that look like frigging magic. So yeah, I thought this was a really, really great game for this month. I don't know if I've gone over it before. I don't feel like I did. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. I'm not really sure. It's technically co. It's technically co, but ah, uh, how are you fighting it? Where are you fighting it? I mean, how are you gonna fight that? That's that's for so much. That's for too much, man.
So yeah, that is our zombie game for today. There's still time. There is still time. Unfortunately, I do not have a game that was better than this one lined up. So I'm going to have to call it here. We will, of course, be back next week with another game of Zombie Go, as well as the week after that. So we have two more weeks of zombie games. I uh, haven't quite narrowed down which one we're doing next week. I still have to go through a bunch of games and figure out which one's which one's better. I kind of wish I saved this one maybe to like next week or the week after, because I thought this was a pretty good one. Uh, I also want to point out that Sundays we're going to be doing Real Board Series again thanks to my camera finally arriving. So that's good. Um, and so yeah, the Real Board stream for that will begin Sundays, and then I'll also have Real Board, the actual Real Board Series and Shorties out, hopefully in the next coming weeks and then at some point I also have to do basics go because I like the basic series so there's a lot there's a lot coming there's a lot coming your way there's Sunday streaming with uh, real board there's real board games coming there's shorties coming there's more basic go coming and there are two more weeks of zombie go coming so we've got a ton of crap coming at you hope you guys enjoy all of this lovely stuff and I will see you all next time. Yes, there'll be more long shot games. So I will see you all next time. Take care, everybody.